bright duty every student matters hello dear students welcome to another lecture now in this class we are going to begin with chapter 11 of your grammar book and this is about vocabulary now we all understand the importance of learning vocabulary when we talk about a language vocabulary forms the base of every language it will help you become a good writer it will help you become a good speaker so having good vocabulary is the core of every language so in this chapter we are going to look at the difference between a synonym and an antonym first and then we'd look at a few examples that are given to you alongside their synonym and antonym now what is a synonym the best way to remember synonym synonym begins with s so same s s those words which have the same meaning are known as synonyms a word and its similar meaning will be known as its synonym for example see or look or observe or glance or notice all these words mean the mean the same thing so those words which have the same meaning are known as synonyms and those words which have the opposite meanings are known as antonyms Before we move on to the antonyms let us discuss a few examples of synonym in your chapter in your book you can very easily see abandon what do we mean by abandon what are the synonyms for the word abandon to leave something to ditch something so they are same meanings abundant something which is there in ample quantities or plenty full or generous amount accomplish to achieve something to attain something to finish something ache we have the pain the body ache so the pain hurt when you suffer from something that is ache accuse when you blame somebody for something that is accusing what are the other words for accuse charge or censure are the synonyms that mean the same as accuse adequate adequate means just enough quantity as much as you need so adequate is enough or sufficient or capable The next one is admire. Now, what do we mean by admire? Admire means to respect something or to praise something, to keep something in high esteem. That is admire. Affluent, rich, somebody who is very rich, who is very wealthy or prosperous. Always. What are the other words that we use for always? regularly or consistently or constant angry what are the other words for angry annoyed irritated enraged attempt the other words for attempt try endeavor effort award giving an award to somebody that means giving a present to somebody giving a grant to somebody or just giving something to someone barren empty dry treeless we say barren land where there are no trees are the barren lands okay beautiful what are the other words for beautiful attractive pretty lovely big what are the other words for big large enormous great huge boring now what are the other words that can be used for boring uninteresting something which is routine or dull brave the other word for brave we have courageous unafraid daring bright the other word for bright shining radiant 
illuminated broad broad means something which is wide it is vast it is spacious it has more space in it broad minded is that we use for the people who are free in thinking or tolerant who can bear a lot of things or liberal free careful what are the other words for careful cautious watchful or alert we have change what are the other words for change modify transform something alter something then chat chat what are the other words to gossip with somebody to talk to somebody to have a conversation with someone cheat now what are the other words for cheat to deceive someone to fool someone to trick someone cheerful the synonyms for cheerful glad happy joyful then the synonyms for clever what are the synonyms for clever smart brainy intelligent collect what are the other words for collect gather assemble or same to gather something assemble something you know same these are the other words for gather confident sure certain positive confuse puzzle upset bewilder crazy mad insane silly what do we mean by custom the tradition practice or characteristic of something dangerous is fatal risky unsafe defect is an error or a flaw or a fault in something delete erase remove cancel eager is keen enthusiastic interested easy is effortless comfortable relaxed encourage is to uplift someone inspire someone motivate someone enjoy is like to be pleased to appreciate enemy is your opponent your rival your competitor famous is somebody who is renowned who is eminent who is a celebrated personality fat plump stout chubby foolish is silly stupid unintelligent funny who is funny somebody who is amusing comic laughable garbage what are the synonyms for garbage rubbish waste material litter good is excellent superior fine great something which is remarkable grand mighty then grief is sadness sorrow pain trouble happy is pleased delighted cheerful hate is dislike despise detest help is assist aid support high is tall soaring towering hurt is damage or injure or pain important is necessary vital valuable improve is correct reform or better something then we have interesting means fascinating attractive exciting intelligent is smart sharp brilliant joy is happiness cheer excitement keep is to hold something to maintain something something that remains 
kill is to destroy to murder to cancel kind is thoughtful helpful considerate large is big huge or monumental lazy what are the synonyms for lazy inactive idle or sluggish love is admire like adore make is create invent develop mischievous is playful naughty impish neat is clean orderly smart new is fresh original modern old is ancient faded used polite courteous polished civil poor is underprivileged ordinary or inferior praise flatter someone cheer someone compliment someone put is to keep something to place something to set something quick is fast active rapid quiet is silent soundless calm respect is honor esteem regard rich is wealthy affluent well to do we've read about affluent also previously right right is correct accurate proper rough is hard tough coarse stop is to finish pause conclude strange is odd uncommon peculiar strong is solid tough stable surprising is unexpected sudden amazing take is to hold something to catch something to capture something then tease is to irritate someone to annoy someone to provoke someone tell is to inform narrate explain thin is narrow delicate lean and tired is exhausted worn out and So you see my dear students there are 87 words for which we learned and we saw the synonyms that are there the sole purpose of teaching the same to you is to enhance your vocabulary to empower you with a better language so that when it comes to speaking or writing you are able to write well speak well and impress everyone 